I'm now at the Hertfordshire College, College of Building Stand where I'm with Roy Moore and Norman Cranham who are both lecturers at the Building College. Good afternoon. Uh, now what three stages are there actually in construction? Design and preparation of drawings uh, and quantities, that sort of area. We then have the actual uh, team managers, the technicians who order the materials, arrange for delivery, process chasing and all that sort of work. And then we have the craftsmen, who are the people that actually do the job, the craft and the operatives. Right, if I turn now to you, Roy, you're in charge of the technical side. side. yes. Right, so what does that actually involve? The technicians who do the um, planning work and that type of thing, costing uh, civil engineering technicians who do a bit of design work, structural design. A bit of architectural design. Right, and what qualifications are you looking for there? Uh, entry qualifications are basically four O levels or possibly four CSEs grade one. Right, now if you turn over now to the craft side of things, what actually is craft? Well, the craft is actually physically doing the job. Right, how does entry onto the craft side of things work? We're looking for people with practical ability. We're looking for what we call uh, psychomoto skills, people that uh, can be trained in skill development. Well, what are the qualifications for entry? Then? We're not looking so much for academic qualifications, we're looking for people and those people that we generally select at interview. Um, we need to know, you know, the chances are if, if a father's been a good bricklayer then the son is likely to have that inbuilt tendency towards <laughs> being able to lay bricks. So the, do the majority of students actually move on to employment or to further education? In their case, uh, success rate is about 90% plus of people that come through courses get jobs. That's good, isn't it? That is good, yes. Excellent. Right, thank you very much to the following, Roy Moore and yes. Norman Cranham. I've got that the wrong way around, haven't yes, I? Yes, thank you very much indeed for talking to me. Hello. My name's Roy Nichols, and I'm a librarian at St Albans College. Uh, the college library has a stock of about 23,000 books at the moment and we try to cover all the main subjects that are taught at the college. Um, but in addition to the books that are for study purposes, we do try to include a more general selection because we feel that uh, students uh, can use the library to broaden their own interests as well as pursuing their own particular studies while at the college. Now apart from the book stock, we also have um, a collection of magazines or periodicals. We currently take about uh, 180 of those, monthlies, weeklies and so on. And also there's a collection of what we call audio-visual materials. Uh, gramophone records, videotapes, slides, etc. Now the services include a lending service, a reference service and uh, a photocopy service which uh, students find very useful for uh, project work that they're currently engaged in and so on. Um, we also have um, a Prestel set in the what we call the learning resources room which is at the far end of the library and uh, this uh, is very useful particularly for business studies students in obtaining uh, from the screen very up-to-date information such as company information. The uh, catalogue that we have in the library um, is a catalogue not only of the St Albans College Library stock but also of other college libraries in Hertfordshire and it's a computer based catalogue which is currently on microfiche later we hope it will be uh, a fully computerised catalogue which will give all our users access to the stock of college libraries throughout the county. Well, that's the college library. It's there for students to use. To use, um, There's plenty there, I think, for everybody, and it's entirely free. Nobody's compelled to use the college library, but those who do, I think, gain extra benefit to their studies by so doing. Thank you. With me in the studio now is Peter Betts, who's the head of the engineering department. Good afternoon. Now, Good afternoon. what courses are mainly run by the engineering department? The department mainly offers uh, vocational courses for students employed in local industry. It caters for three main branches of engineering, aeronautical, 
mechanical and production, and telecommunications. But we also have a, a YTS section, which has been recently added to the work of the department. This year is industry year 1986. How is that affecting the engineering department of the college? Well, um, the open day, which has taken place today, is one of our involvements in industry year. It's something that was suggested initially by the department, and of course it's grown into the college offering, which you've been uh, taking part in yourselves. Now, earlier on we saw the well, some of the students in the, I suppose it must be the aeronautical department, trying to make the engine work, the propeller and so on. That the aeronautical section yes. of the engineering That was not in fact yes. successful, and we didn't actually see the propeller in action. Can you tell us what went wrong? I don't know, actually. I've been so busy yeah. with other parts, I've I haven't been informed as to why the Gypsy Queen engine did not work. I can only say that um, during earlier tests, it worked quite satisfactorily. In fact, it's a very good way of removing all the leaves from the college site, <laughs> as you can imagine. What other aircraft have we in the hangar at college? Um, the, the aircraft uh, are rather ancient, but they are very useful teaching aids. We have three vampire trainer aircraft that have been with us for uh, 12 years or so. Right. Peter, thank you very much for talking to me today. My pleasure. Right, well that's it for me. We haven't had much time to look at some particular areas of the college, like the creche, where the staff and the students of the college can leave their children in the very capable hands of the nursing nurses. The Students' Union plays a very important part in college life, and we haven't had time to look at that, as general studies, of course, O and A levels, and the business studies, or the BTEC courses. We haven't had time to look at those in great detail. But for myself, Colin Short, thank you very much for joining me today. Goodbye.